Hello. 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 I've been trying to find Croatian furniture shops to smash up. There aren't any. I mean, what was, what was going on with the, with the football? I know, I, you know, I know it's very sad. But, but what's going on with all the, the celebrations? I mean, we've got a bus stop in Clapham Junction that's now got a sunroof. <laughs> and uh, what, what was going on? What was going through the minds of those people who thought, young guy in that white chair, I'm going to smash up my chair? <laughs> and they spoke what was essentially a really lovely evening, everybody was like having fun, they went down there and they ruined it. And it, and it spoke by just a few people who, you know, got screwed us. They've got the talks in the, you know, in the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I have been, I've been extremely busy. I, I nearly never made it tonight. I was coming into here. I felt. And I'll tell you one thing, right? If the horseman of the apocalypse is the apocalypse, <laughs> if the horseman of the apocalypse right, <laughs> decides to arrive, they are not coming on southwestern trains. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very sorry to announce that the next apocalypse has been cancelled. <laughs> To your signal failure. Uh, the next apocalypse is scheduled for 21:45, <laughs> and will now not be leaving from platform one. It will be leaving from platform six. <laughs> six. 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 <laughs> uh, and yeah, um, I, I have an overactive mind, and um, one of the other things that kept me busy today is wondering if James Brown ever had hiccups. <laughs> I feel good. No, I feel like a glass of water. Uh, <laughs> I've also uh, just you all love this I'm in mean, a new sexual position. <laughs> Would you like to know? <laughs> it's called Girl Toffee. <laughs> I'm glad some of you are ahead of the COVID. But uh, just for those who didn't get it right. I'm going to press the button to my other half and go, oh, you fancy, just get it off of me. <laughs> um, also, yes, you'll love this. Very important, very handy for you to know this one. I have invented a foolproof way to have a non -confront uh, confrontational argument that always win. Now, it's what I call the no surprises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it works like this. Um, okay, it doesn't matter what the argument's about or discussion's about, as long as you reply <coughs> to the tune of No Surprises by Radio. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you an example for this, uh, for this demonstration, and I'll play my other half. I thought you said you were going to do the washing up. Uh, I know. I said I was going to do. <laughs> Messages, that's the 
one. Yeah. So give me two messages to give you, and that's, you've been very, very kind, very supportive, and I love the fact that the people came back for the second half. And the other thing that she said is, I think I've suffered enough. <laughs>